Week in a row, Baltimore firefighters buried one of their own, a hero who died battling a fire on Linden Heights Avenue, Captain Dylan Ronaldo. Ronaldo was carted and in, in his final resting place on the back of his engine. It was number 13. WMAR 2 News, Jeff Morgan was, has the details on Captain Ronaldo's burial today. It was a somber day here at Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens as hundreds of firefighters gathered to pay their final respects to a firefighter who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Long before the fire trucks drove down Padonia Road, people were lined up ready to show their support for Captain Ronaldo. With flags at the ready, Katie Townsley waited for the procession. It's a feeling of pride in the individual and being able to hear, be here to recognize them for the sacrifice that they made for their community. Bob Hahn sat outside the gates to Delaney Valley with his grandson. His son's a firefighter along with his nephew. A death like this hits home. These guys put their life on the line every day that people don't realize. And it could have been my son, it could have been my nephew. You know, they leave the house, they're doing 24 hour shifts and you just, they might never come home again. The processional was led by state troopers who lined the road as the fire trucks and cars moved through carrying hundreds of people. There were so many firefighters, city buses were used to bring them to the cemetery. It's a firefighter's death, you know. They go into places that other people wouldn't even think about. Once Captain Ronaldo's casket made it to the gravesite, it was lifted off engine 13, the same one he rode on to every fire call. Fellow firefighters carried him to his final resting spot. There were several rounds of prayers. Amazing Grace was played along with taps. Then Ronaldo's family was given his helmets and hats before the color guard closed the ceremonies. In Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR, 2 News.